Hello, welcome to the second video. As the hard evidence of the six-minute walk clearly shows that CBT produced no additional improvement at all, and that graded exercise, concentrating on walking for a whole year, only showed a trivial improvement, how did the PACE team come to the conclusion that these therapies should continue to be used? Well, they focused on two subjective assessments. One questionnaire on fatigue, and one questionnaire on physical activity. Let's just focus on the second one for now. This involved using the SF36 questionnaire. This questionnaire has 10 questions asking patients to say whether they had any trouble with things like lifting and carrying groceries. Patients could choose between saying that they were not limited at all, for which they got 10 points, limited a little, 5 points, or limited a lot, no points. This means that their final scores would go up in multiples of 5. The average age of the patients in the trial was 38, and a perfectly healthy person of that age could expect to score 100. The authors looked at a survey of people of working age, both healthy and ill, and concluded that a score of 75 or more was within normal function, and set this as their target. Notice that this does not mean healthy. When your eye use the word normal in this way, such as the computer, or perhaps the car is working normally, we mean that it's working properly. That isn't the case here. You can see a list of the activities in the comment below this video. Remember, we are talking about people in their late thirties. So press the pause on this video and look through those 10 activities. To score 75, choose five activities for which it would be normal for a 38 year old to have some limitations. Have a go now. I don't think any of us would describe a score of 75 as normal functioning for a 38-year-old. However, most people with ME would be pleased to be at this level, so let us accept it as a decent target. The authors of the PACE trial expected around 60% of the CBT group and 50% of the graded exercise group to reach this level by the end of the trial. This is the level of success they have claimed for many, many years. At the start of the trial, they chose patients scoring 60 or less to take part. This did not give them enough patients, so they raised it to 65 or less, and that added enough patients scoring 65 to make their sample sizes big enough for the trial. At the end of the trial, they reported that 30% of the patients were assessed as being within normal function. And it's this figure that has been widely reported along the lines of 30% of patients were cured. 30% is less than they expected, but still worthwhile, so you might wonder why we are concerned. Simply because once the trial was underway, they dropped the target. The level described as being within normal function was now dropped from 75 to 60. That's right, the new level was lower than the raised entry level for the trial, and we do not know how many people were already at or above this target at the start of the trial. They did a similar trick with the assessment on fatigue by changing the scoring system, but that's more complicated. So we actually have no idea how many patients needed to improve in order to be counted a success, or how many that already started out that way. And if you look at the questions and try and score 60, you will see that there is no way whatsoever that a person in their late 30s would describe that score as being within normal function. What worries us most is that this appalling shortcoming was buried in the content of the report. None of the authors drew attention to it. The editors of The Lancet failed to notice it, and it passed through the peer review system without comment. Nor did any of the science reporters pick up on it. Now, NICE regards the study and its conclusions as authoritative. 
What you can be sure is that if anybody tells you that 30 to 40 percent of ME patients recovered with CBT or graded exercise, they didn't bother to read the actual report. Does anybody in the medical world ever check these figures?